students now i am going to discuss the question number 3 fill in the blank of exercise 6.3 look at the first fill up it is given that minus 8 plus fill in the blank is equal to 0 now what should we add in minus 8 so that our addition will be 0 yes we should add plus 8 minus 8 plus 8 is equal to 0 and we know that the integers when added to each other gives the addition zero called as a additive inverse of each other right so here minus 8 and plus 8 are called as additive inverse of each other now look at the second fill up what should we add in plus 13 so that our addition will be zero again plus 13 minus 13 becomes zero right so we should add minus 13 and we always write negative integer in bracket so here I have written minus thirteen in bracket. Now come to the third fill up. What will be the answer of plus twelve and minus twelve? Here I have already written the answer. Plus twelve and minus twelve is equal to zero. Plus twelve and minus twelve are the additive inverse of each other. Hence, by adding to each other, this gives the answer zero. Now come to the fourth. Now minus four plus what is equal to minus twelve? If you are unable to find out the missing number or missing integer, I am going to tell you one trick. What you have to do here to find out the missing number? Shift this minus four to the right hand side. When you shift minus four to the right hand side, it will be plus four, right? Now minus twelve plus four become minus eight, right? Hence the answer will be minus eight. So minus four plus minus eight is equal to minus twelve. You can use this method everywhere. Now come to the question number four. Here again we are asked to find out the value of the integers. Now the first example minus seven minus eight minus of minus twenty five. Now to find out the value, let us open the bracket of the integer first. When you open the bracket, what will you get? Minus seven minus eight and minus of minus twenty five. It means it will become plus twenty five, right? Now we have three integers. Out of the three integers, the first two are negative. So let us add them first. Now minus seven minus eight. It will become minus fifteen. And then we are going to add plus twenty five to it. Now we have one positive and one negative integer. So we need to subtract. And twenty five minus fifteen, it will become ten. Hence, the answer is ten. Coming to the second example, minus thirteen plus thirty two minus eight minus one. Again, first of all, to find out the value, we open the bracket of the integer first. So we got minus thirteen plus thirty two minus eight minus one. Now we have four integers, so we can add them in group. First, we add the first two integer and then we add the last two integer if you look at the first two integer you will see that one positive and one negative integer is there right so we need to subtract so when you subtract 13 from 32 you will get 19 answer will be positive because the bigger integer is positive now look at the last two integer last two integers both are negative so we need to add them minus 8 minus 1 it will become minus 9 and now 19 minus 9 is equal to 10 hence the answer is 10 now look at the third example minus 7 plus minus 8 plus minus 90 again before solving we open the bracket of the integer first so we got minus 7 minus 8 and plus minus become minus so it will be minus 90 now here all the three integers are negative right Now first we add the first two integer. Now minus seven minus eight it will become minus fifteen. Then minus ninety come down as it is. And now we are going to add minus fifteen minus ninety. Both are negative integer, right? So their addition will be minus one zero four. Why minus? Because both the integers are negative. Hence answer will also take the sign of minus, right? So like this you can solve the remaining example given in your textbook.